and the next question I face every year is what is new in this row? And the next question I face every year is what is new in this row? I would like to tell you it's a goal of sending an Indian to space and bring him back safely for which we are currently very uh, working very hard <laughs> and it's a complex engineering problem of putting two pe few people inside and taking them up in the space and bring them back safely is a very complex problem and we face huge challenges in terms of engineering and I want to tell you there is no help from anybody. This, this area you don't help get technology, you don't get help. The what I get is some literature and some discussion topics and points which I can understand and we have to engineer everything around that experience and none of us in ISRO has any experience of flying human beings. Of course, US or Russia never had it before they flew the first human being. But today uh, we have to work it on this with a very limited budget on how to make this possible and we are on it and I want to tell you we are going to have very interesting mission called a crew escape system test mission next month. And this October we are going to launch it with the crew module, the crew escape system going up and we will show that it can be recovered in case of an emergency developing in the rocket. And this is the first test that we are going to happen and this will continue next year or so to make our mission successful. We continue to work on science missions, many missions are in the offing mission to Venus, we want to study the atmosphere, we would like to jointly work with other nations like USA, Japan, etc. It's only builder of the system but to generate science outcome out of it, we need laboratories in this country, universities, institutions to, to have great scientists who will make sense out of the data. So this is another big work that we are doing in the background, possibly you may not know them, know this activity. We continuously interact with academic institutions like IITs, ICERs, uh, research laboratories in this country to create that talent pool. We also collaborate with most of the nations in the world. We have 60 plus MOUs and understandings to work with various nations and also we work with collaborative programs with most of the nations. So uh, this is something that we continue to work with. <laughs>